Fusion templates are a great way to get acquainted with the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. For one, you don't have to build everything from the ground up, which is usually the most overwhelming part of the Fusion page. And also, once you bring those templates in, you have the opportunity to really go node by node and pick things apart and figure out how things are built. So when you do feel comfortable enough to build your own effects, you have a pretty good starting point. And so today I'm gonna to show you how to import and work with Fusion templates, and I'm gonna show you three ways to save Fusion templates so that you never have to go through the importing process ever again. So let's not waste any more time. I've got a clip in DaVinci Resolve lined up and ready to go. This is just a clip of a woman walking towards the water at the beach. It's a nice, pretty shot. The shot really doesn't matter because we're not actually doing anything with the footage. What I wanna do is put a little subscribe button down here in the bottom left-hand corner, and we're gonna use a Fusion template in order to do that. So let's come back to the beginning of the timeline. What we're gonna do is come into our media pool, and we're gonna right-click and click on New Fusion Composition. Let's go ahead and give this a name. We'll just call this Subscribe, and hit Create. Next thing we want to do is bring that fusion composition into our timeline. So let's drag it in here. And then we're going to select that fusion composition and we're going to go into the fusion page. And for those of you who don't know anything about Fusion, let's take a quick little tour. Right here, we've got our playback monitor. This is where you can see everything that you're building out. Down below that, we've got a lot of most commonly used tools in Fusion. Below that, we've got the node section. And then over here to the right, we've got the inspector. Now there's a lot more to the Fusion page than just those elements, but these are the ones that we're gonna be focusing on today. All right, first thing we wanna do is import import our Fusion template. And to do that, we just want to go to File, Import, Fusion Composition, and then we want to navigate to where our Fusion Composition is being held on our computer, and we're just going to select it and hit Open. And once that imports down in the node section, you'll see all of the nodes that build up the effect. And then if we play that, you'll see we got a subscribe button popping up and then a little mouse click and then the button goes away. Really, really simple, and that's it. And if we come down to the node section and we start clicking on these nodes, you'll see what these all pertain to. So the shape is our little rectangle here, our button color, you can change it. We've got some keyframes in here. So we've got it from red turning to white. We've got our button text, which again, changes from white down here, let's see, down here to gray right there. We've got our mouse color, we've got our mouse shape and our path. And you'll also see if we select any one of these nodes, like the button text here, we can come into the inspector and we can change the parameters of a whole bunch of stuff. And by the way, if you're wondering where I got this Fusion template, I actually got it from today's sponsor, MixKit. MixKit is a 100% free resource that you can use to get stock footage, music, and sound effects for all of your videos. They even have templates for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, and even DaVinci Resolve. MixKit's brought to you by the guys over at Envato who have a long track record of providing high quality assets for your videos. So if you're looking for a free resource for stock footage, music, sound effects, or effects templates, make sure you check out the link in the description and head over to MixKit today. All right, let's head over to the edit page and take a look at what we've got so far. If we come back to the beginning of our template, let's wait for this to render out just a bit. All right, it's rendered. Let's go ahead and play. And now we've got our subscribe button on top of our video footage. So that's pretty easy, right? You just bring in the template, you tweak it the way you want it, and then you can just go on your merry way. And you could, every single time you wanna use that button, just do the same import process every single time. But there are a couple ways that you can save Fusion templates so that you never have to import them again. They're just always gonna be there. Let's take a look. Now, the easiest way to do this is by using power bins. All we have to do is come into our media pool. Let me just expand my power bin section. And I actually created a power bin called graphics effects. And we're just gonna select that and we're gonna drag our fusion composition into the power bin. And we're going to rename this subscribe 
with mouse. And now that fusion composition is just saved and I can use it in any project that I want. So I can come over here and I can just drag it down, wait for it to render out. Let's move our playhead over to the beginning of that composition, go ahead and play it, and you'll see we've got our subscribe button with our mouse click and we're good to go. Now, like I said, that's the easiest way to save a fusion composition so that you never have to import it again. The only problem with that is it's not editable within the edit page with the very few exceptions. So if I come in here and I select the fusion composition, you'll see that the only thing that I can edit is the transform and the cropping and basically anything that you would do with a regular video clip. If I wanted to change, let's say the color of the button or change the text, I'd have to go back into the fusion page to do that. And the problem with that is you'll have to dig through all the nodes and find the exact ones that you want to edit and that can be time consuming and sometimes confusing and I just don't wanna do that all the time. So let's take a look at a couple ways where we can save our fusion templates in a way that only the things we'll ever want to edit are editable and they're always right there in DaVinci Resolve. In order to do that, we gotta come back over to the fusion page. So I'm gonna actually just delete this fusion composition here. I'm gonna select this one and we're gonna go back to the fusion page. So we're gonna do two things here in the Fusion page. First, we're gonna save a macro, and then we're going to save something that's going to show up in the effects menu in the edit page. First, let's talk about macros. If I come over here into our node area, and I'm just gonna drag a box over all my nodes, I am going to right click, and I'm going to go to macro, create macro, what you'll get is a big, long, confusing dialog box. What this is, is a list of every single node and every single parameter that can be changed in that node. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select the ones that we want to be editable in our macro. So first thing we're gonna do is change the name of our macro. We're gonna call this subscribe button with mouse. And let's scroll back up to the top and start going through all of these different nodes and see what we wanna change. We're gonna collapse everything to make it easier. And really with this fusion template, the only thing I'm ever gonna to wanna to change is maybe the button color, the mouse color, and the text. So let's go ahead and find the button color. So we've got button color here. We're gonna expand that and we're gonna come down to color and we're gonna select type, and we're gonna select top left red, top left green, top left blue, top left alpha, and we're just gonna select all of these color parameters. And then we can collapse button color. Now let's come down to mouse color. And we're not gonna do anything with image, but let's go ahead and do the same thing for mouse color. And then we can collapse mouse color. And then we're gonna come down to button text and expand that. And we're gonna select style text, font, style, size, tracking, line spacing, vertical anchor. Select all of our anchors here. And let's collapse that, collapse layout, collapse transform, collapse shading, and that should be good. Let's go ahead and collapse that. And what we're gonna do is hit close, save changes to macro tool one, and we're gonna hit yes. And that's gonna automatically open up the folder where your macros are stored. And we can just go ahead and click save. So let's go ahead and just delete all of these nodes here. And what I'm gonna do is hit shift space and that'll bring up my tools and I can search for subscribe. And here's subscribe button with mouse, click that, hit add. Now what we'll do is we'll add a media out to this. Media out, add, and let's Play that real quick. All 
Uh, looks good to me. Now, here's the cool thing. If I select this node, which is my macro, and I come over here, you can see I can change my button color, I can change my text, and I can change my mouse color. And it's right there in the Fusion page. You just search for it like you would any other node. It's super, super easy. Now let's get this into the edit page so we don't even have to go into the Fusion page in order to use it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna go to Macro, I'm gonna click Subscribe button with mouse, and then I'm gonna come up here to File, and I'm gonna go to Save As, I'm gonna come back to Fusion, and then we're gonna come down, open up templates, go to edit, cause we're putting this in the edit page and we're gonna put this in the generators and we're gonna hit save. Go ahead and close this out. Let's come back to the edit page. Now let's open up our effects library, come down into our generators menu and here we go. Subscribe button with mouse right there. And if we play that back, We've got our subscribe button, we've got our mouse click, we've got the subscribe button going away, and there you go. And if we select this Fusion template once again, let's go ahead and put our color, let's go ahead and, that is the first, let's go ahead to our first keyframe. Let's say I wanted to change this to blue, hit okay. I've now changed my subscribe button to blue. I can change my mouse color to red. There you go. And I can change my text to, that says hello right there, but it says subscribe underneath because there's keyframes on this. Let's go ahead and change that also to Hello. And we'll go ahead and play this back. There you go. Now, like I said, using Fusion templates and doing the whole import process and picking apart the nodes is still a really good way to get acquainted with the Fusion page in DaVinci Resolve. If you wanna learn a little bit more about the Fusion page, click here. And for more tools, tips, and tricks that'll make you a better video editor, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.